I messed up. I'm sorry. That's probably stupid. No. Uh, right. No, oh, I got off from the very beginning. Oh, God. Okay. We get another drink of water. I can talk about these machines all day long. I just can't tell my story. I hate this. I hate this. Oh. I'm a tech guy, man. I'm not, I'm not a camera guy. I'll be in front of the camera. Shop saver. It's branding like that. Shopsaver.com. Okay. You ready? Yep. Mine Lifeline is a manufacturer of specialty safety products for underground coal mines. Following the Sago disaster in 2006, we introduced the first steel lifeline in the underground coal mine. And that product is used for escape situation when there's no visibility. From there, we began to look at other products in underground mines and how we can improve them to increase safety and productivity in underground. And then jump to 2020, uh, I made a panel for my boat and put it in a group on Facebook. And a guy asked me if I could make one for him and I did. And he tagged me and the person he bought his electronics off of in the same group. And the guy that was the vendor that supplied the electronics ended up reaching out to me and asking me about making custom brackets and panels and things for this new business that he was opening up in Tennessee. And it didn't take long of making these things and having to do a lot of the work by hand, a lot of the finish work to make sure the holes were straight, that it, that it was a good looking product that, that I would be proud to hand somebody. And I just couldn't keep up. And I said, well, there's gotta be a better way to do this. And when you said CNC router to me, I always thought of cabinet making and wood. Uh, I honestly wasn't even aware that they could cut aluminum. And that's how we ended up starting to look at the router as a shop safe. Number one, first thing we want to do, we want to buy American. We started researching. We looked at a couple of different companies and Shop Saver, without even thinking about how they make the machine, they had more information out there. They had, a, they had a YouTube channel with a lot of videos. And then when I started looking at the way the machine was made, the fact that it had the ball screw drive, the heavy duty tubular steel frame, and I had heard they had really good tech support. And that was what pushed me over the top. Uh, I contacted them didn't know what I needed because I didn't know anything about CNC routers. I only knew what I needed to do. And I talked to Chad Wilson. I told him what I was going to do, that I was going to be cutting primarily aluminum. And the one thing I liked about him was they didn't try to sell me things I don't need. He, he said exactly what I need. This is, you know, you don't need the most expensive table. You don't need every option. Here's what you need. Once we got to CNC, that gave us the ability to start countersinking, doing chamfers, doing recessed pockets, counterboards. It gave us a lot more uh, options. And I felt like the product that we were making, the market we were putting in by doing it by, with a CNC router, that gave us the ability to give a finish that the competitors wasn't offering. So our plasma machine that we own and we're using at the time was a different system. It was an open loop stepper motor table, an older table. We had a lot of issues with it. It, get, it would get lost and ruin a whole sheet of material. And after using my shop saver for about six months, I decided that, uh, hey, it's time to upgrade the plasma table. Let's go close the loop. And didn't even need to call any other companies, didn't need to look any further. I had the experience with, with them. I knew their tech support was behind it. And every day it runs just about eight hours a day, nonstop, nobody's watching it. We just push a button and go do what we gotta do and it performs flawlessly every day. And for the money, I'm embarrassed to say it was cheaper than our older machine that we bought in 2012, and it's twice the, twice the machine that one is. We fabricate a lot of steel boxes for the mining industry to store one hour self-contained self-rescuers, and we make them in all different shapes and sizes. Probably the primary product that we use our plasma for, and it, it just burns those uh, flat patterns out all day long, every day. And of course, we have to bend it and powder coat it and we lined the interior of them with foam. And for years we did it by hand and it was very labor intensive. It was very inefficient because a guy just randomly cuts a certain shape of foam out of a sheet of material and you end up with a lot of waste. Well, once we got the shop saver, the router, we were able to buy the drag knife attachment for it. Now we can nest all those pieces using the software and let the machine cut them, which requires no labor and we cut our material waste down to virtually nothing. So it was a win-win. That was not something I had in mind when I bought the router. But once you get one and own it and you see the versatility of it, start looking at other materials and capabilities, then the sky's the limit. It's whatever you can come up with.
as time went on with the router, uh, we started looking at and seeing the other things that we could make. Uh, and in the marine industry, these guys, they want to customize everything. And the guy that I was making all the brackets for, every day he was asking me to make something different. But my machine, cutting aluminum on a router is a slower process than other materials. So we didn't really have the machine availability and I didn't want to go out and hire anybody and try to put on another shift uh, to, to do these things. So I knew the market was there. I mean, he, he, he told me, he said, you buy a second machine and I guarantee you we'll pay for it. So, you know, we took the leap. We knew we needed it. We knew we could keep it busy. We knew it opened up uh, the door to make many other products. So there was no reason to even look anywhere else. I, I knew exactly what I needed, except I wanted to add, add extra five tools on it. So we went with the 10 tool changer, same exact setup, and we've got the same results from it. It's run perfect now for a year and a half, two years. So if I had to rate my overall experience owning shop savers, uh, one word comes to mind, very pleasant. Once you, you know, make the drawings and program the parts, you don't have to worry about it. There's, nobody has to stand out here and watch them. Uh, they're gonna show up every day, they don't get sick. They're not gonna lay out all night and come in and be tired, make, they don't make mistakes. They're robot and they do exactly what you tell them to do. Uh, I've had to call tech support maybe twice. I had a loose cable on one machine uh, easy one minute fix on the phone with tech support. So I, you know, I just haven't had to use them. The machines run and that's why I bought the, that's why I bought my second one. That's why, I, you know, that's why I bought my plasma because I knew that it was going to run. I knew I wasn't going to have to work on it. I had to work on the other one. So that's why I bought the third router. I already, you know, I know that these machines are going to do what they're advertised to do. They truly are plug and play. When you get them, you know, you plug all the cables in, get the air, get the power going and hand them a program and they just, they cut it and they work every day. Uh, the, the finish, the quality of the finish that I get on these parts is, is unmatched. I mean, you'd have to, you know, go to a, a half million dollar CNC milling machine to get any better finish on the edge finish on these parts. Uh, it, it's just really is incredible for what they cost, the quality that they can produce. My advice to anybody considering adding CNC into their business is uh, more of a question what are you waiting for? Uh, do it, pull the trigger. There's no reason to keep waiting. You're, gonna, you're losing money every day that you don't own a CNC machine if you have the need for it or the use for it. When you rely on, on just normal employees, they have bad days, they're tired, they're gonna make mistakes. The machines don't make mistakes. You can reproduce the same product over and over again. It doesn't require any labor as far as the cutting process. I've got uh, people here that are local, the shops that do things by hand, metal fabrication, things by hand. Now they're sending me their business because they know we can do it a lot more efficient, a lot faster. Actually, we can make money off of it and still save them money by making it for them versus them having to pay to do everything manually. So with that being said, there's only one choice for me. I looked at other companies, but I can speak on experience owning three of these machines we're going on three years now. They run every day, all day. We don't have any problems. And if we, the one or two times we have had to call tech support, they actually answered the phone. It wasn't a recording and they got us back up and running within no time. So for me, for a small business, there's only one choice for CNC and it's ShopSaver.